today we're doing Eureka Math, Grade 2, Module 2, Lesson 3. Our objectives are, I can use a centimeter ruler to estimate the length of an object, and I can write amounts to show the measurement of an object. Okay, so we are going to start with our application problem. Jamie has 65 flashcards. Harry has eight more cards than Jamie. How many flashcards does Harry have? So we need to circle our 65. And Harry has eight more cards than Jamie. And our question is, how many flashcards does Harry have? So we see eight more. More is going to tell us to add. Okay, so he doesn't just have eight cards. He has eight more cards than Jamie. So let's start with our type diagram. And here we have 65 flashcards for Jamie. And then we know Harry has eight more than Jamie. So this is 65 like Jamie has, but he has eight more. So we'll put that eight here, and 65 here, and Harry. So we need to find out what this together is going to equal. Okay. So our equation will be 65 plus eight. Now, if you remember from module one, we can break apart numbers to make it easier, easier for us to add. Okay, so if we think 65, how many more does it take to get up to our next 10, which is 70? So 65, so we need five more to get to our next 10 and then five plus three will equal eight. Okay, so we're going to add 65 plus five equals 70. Then we have to use our leftovers. So we have three plus 70 equals 73. Or you could have written 70 plus three. Okay, and then our answer is 73. Okay, so we write our sentence. Harry has 73 flash cards. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna move on to our problem set. And our directions today read, use your centimeter ruler to measure the length of the objects below. Okay, so um, regular public schools, a lot of kids have rulers that look like this. They have the inches on one side. There's a lot of space between each inch. You can see with the big numbers there. But we want to use the centimeter side where it's actually, I have my one over here. Um, so there's just like a pinky finger in between each of the centimeters. It might be hard for you to see on this roller. There's a one and a two and a three. I'm going to use a different roller that you can see better on. I have this cute little ruler from when I was a kid. And so here you can see your centimeters are about a pinky space between, okay? And see we have a zero here and there's a one, two, three, and it goes on. This particular ruler only goes up to 15. Okay, so the picture of the animal track is about Okay, so remember we have to start at the line and go to the next line. And we're gonna start at our zero. So if you have a school ruler that 
look similar to this. Um, there might be a line before the end. So you need to make sure you're starting at the line. This particular ruler, the line is lined up with the end, but you need to be careful to make sure you start wherever that line is on your ruler. Okay, so I get to start at zero with my ruler here, and I can see starting at this side, it goes all the way over here, it ends, and I see a four. So this animal track is four centimeters long. Okay, and you could do that with the turtle. You see where that is, and the sandwich. Okay, you can see how that lines up. Okay, and then go straight from that line down to see the number that it equals. Okay, so we are turning the page and it says measure and label the length of each side of the triangle using your ruler. Okay, so remember we're doing our centimeter side. Okay, so here's side A. So this is side A here. So we'll measure. We have starting at our zero and we go down and it's four centimeters long. And our B side is nine centimeters long. And our C side is eight centimeters long. Okay, now we have some questions to answer about that. Which side is the shortish, shortest? A, side A, side B, or side C? Okay, well, you can see the smallest number is four, so that's side A. What is the length of sides A and B together? Okay, so and and together, it's gonna tell us that we need to add. So side A is four and side B is nine. So we're going to have to add four plus nine to get this answer here. And I'm gonna let you do that on your own. How much shorter is side C than side B? Okay, so we see shorter, we see than, than is a comparing word. So we're going to subtract. So we see that side C is eight and side B is nine. If we were setting up an equation here, it'd have to be nine minus eight to get this answer here. Okay, because we always start with a big number and we subtract in second grade. Okay, so I'll let you do those problems on your own. And then for your exit ticket, the directions say, use your centimeter ruler. What is the length in centimeters of each line? So this is line A, you need to measure it with your centimeter ruler. Put the answer here, this is line B. Put your answer here and line C, you put your answer there. Then you need to find the length across the center of the circle. Okay, so remember, you're still lining up either at zero or that first line. Okay, you don't start at one. Make sure it's either zero or where there's a little line on the side of your ruler. Okay, and you get the answer and you put that right there. Okay, so I hope this helped.